leading off the afternoon for Houston. At the ball. The center fielder. Batting second, the second baseman, Jose Altuve. One ball, one strike. Count two one. Two balls, two strikes. Count four. Batting third, the right fielder, Michael Brantley. That is it. The first baseman, number 10. In the FC, Jimmy Young.
So here's Brandon Nimmo. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. The left fielder, Brandon Nimmo. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Yeah. Strike at the knees, Owen. One. Oh, one. Devin, oh, eight. Hit out towards second. Scooped up. And that's out number one. The right field, Robinson Cano. At the plate, Robinson Cano. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And the pitch. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Game time temperature tonight, 62 degrees, but should drop into the 50s before we're done. And there's ball one. Darvish has a reputation or a knack, if you will, for working himself out of tough situations when he finds himself there. A lot of relief pitchers are known for that, obviously, but as a starter, that's certainly a valuable characteristic to have. Matty V, and I'm going to tell you who likes this. The bullpen likes it, and the manager likes this, because most pitchers are going to get into trouble that's at least perfect. one or two times during the, the course of a start, and it's nice to know as a manager oh, wow. that you have a guy that's out there that can pitch with men on base and wiggle out of some tough jams. This guy's made a living doing this in his career. 0-2, oh, here it is. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Mets. Now the Cubbies will get their first crack. No score. Stepping up to the plate, Ian Happ. It lead things off. Off here in the bottom half of the First. The center fielder. Now the pitch. Grounded up the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1.
now the pitch. Ground ball. Foul down the left side. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Ranging back is Aredia. On the warning track, he makes the catch. So the base is empty here with one away. And that brings in Anthony Rizzo. And that misses for ball one. Now that's popped up. Alonzo just to the right of the mound. And that's the second out of the inning. That is good. Into the box now. You Darvish. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. Popped up. Alonzo will range over to make the catch just beyond the first. New inning set to get underway. And standing in a power threat in Todd Frazier, the third baseman. Fouled away. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. That is it. The first pitch of the at-bat on its way. Now the 0-1. Curveball taken a little high. Well, that's not where he wanted that curveball. It kind of backed up and stayed in. That can be effective sometimes, but it usually doesn't have the same hard bite. Now the pitch. Yanked on the ground down the line. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Heading out towards shallow right. Horner will come in a bit and put it away for the second out of the inning. That is good. Stepping in, Luis Guillorme. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. He's set. Here it comes. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. Right down Main Street caught him looking. Mets go down one, two, three. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. So digging in now, Kyle Schwarber. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a fastball one, one. way off target here, and it's even at one. On uh, that fastball is too much one, for him there. Two. One and two. Protecting with two strikes, one out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Here's another one, two. No, that's outside. Not sure if that was a great take or if he got locked up on a two seamer running away, but either way, it worked out well for him. That's a well thrown pitch, though. 
Hit sharply on the ground. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And into bat next, former National League MVP Chris Bryant. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Some guys are great low ball hitters, but most guys, especially guys with pop like this, they're hunting for the ball belt high and above. So that was a nicely spotted fastball down in the zone. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. A swing and a miss for out number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Stepping in, Nico Horner will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Lifted in the air out towards left center. And that's in there. Base hit. Well, this was a good start for the pitcher. First five guys, five up, five, five down, but the number six hitter proved to be a little bit more difficult, and that's a bullet hit. Yeah, absolutely right there, Dan. Just a nice A-B by the six-hole guy after watching his first five brethren take a seat. Rosario is there, and the side is retired. One left for the Cubs. We'll move to the third with no score. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Schwarber has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. That again. There's a one man gone for the Mets in the third. And up next will be Guillermo Heredia. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Runner at first following the error. And that'll bring up the pitcher, Seth Lugo. Now a bunt attempt here. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to make the play for out number two. But wisely, no thought of a return throw. And the inning will continue. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Brandon Nimmo will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. From the stretch. That's a hit. The first of the game for the Mets. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. No mistake what he was sitting on. Fastball, middle of the plate, kept his hands back, stayed through the baseball, and delivers a hard hit line drive. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And he will get there to make the running play. And Bottom of the third now, and that'll bring up one of the better clutch hitters on the landscape, David Bowie. First pitch coming, here it is. At third, here's Frazier. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. Stepping into the box, Wilson Contreras. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Now the fastball is swung on and missed. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Well, and he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. Contreras tends to have more success against right-handed pitching like this than he does against southpaws. Could be a comfort thing. Maybe he just picks up the ball a little better. But that's the book on him at this point. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Hot shot down the line. But this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. And it's fouled away. Fouled off. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. He 
lifted in the air out towards left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. Boy, that was a strange A-B right there, Giro. Seven pitch, 0-2 at bat. Gets the first two strikes in on the seven pitch. Disaster for the pitcher. Yeah, you'll see that happen about five to ten times all year. You're in straight survival mode, fouling off everything and found the hole. And that'll bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. A lot of traffic hit the base pass first and second with one out. I know you're looking for a double play ball, Dan. No question about it. I think one of the things you like to do on a pitcher is try to jump on him early before he gets settled in. So far, so good. First and second. Looks like a big inning could be brewing. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. In the dirt here. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Here's a fly ball well hit. Nimmo has to range back, but he'll make the catch near the line, and there are two men gone. So it's first and second with two men gone. And the pitcher bats next. That will be you, Darvish. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Not even close on that swing. No balls and a strike. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Behind 0-2 now. Hey, I know it's the pitcher at the plate, but he's going to grind it out right here. He's got a chance to help himself, and nothing's a bigger backbreaker to a team than watching the pitcher drive in the run. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. But they'll still manage to get the out on the force, and with that fine play, the inning comes to an end. Cubs strand a couple. We'll head to the fourth. Still Up next, the power bat of Pete Alonso. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. In comes the left fielder. He's there, but oh, he clanks it off his glove. Not particularly graceful there, and as a result, he'll be slapped with an E4 on the play. Todd Frazier is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. Pretty well struck, high and deep to left field. Schwarber is back near the Ivy as he makes the catch for the first out. Now batter. Here's the catcher, Wilson Ramos. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. And he takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. Alonzo leads off second with one gun in the inning. And he fouls this one off. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. The next 0 2. Grounded to third. Bryant is up with it. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. So that'll go down as an E4, as he certainly had his problems that time at second base. swing and he just fouls this one away. I'm set with the 0 and 1. Now a big fastball and he's well behind it with the swing. 
Hey, as a former infielder, nothing hurts your heart more than making... Your pitchers. Let's see if this guy can pick him up right here. Big strikeout for the second out there, but he's not out of it yet. We'll see if he can feed off that K, wiggle out the jam, and keep this game tied. Ahmed Rosario is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. 1-0 oh. oh count, the pitch. <laughs> Swung on and missed, 1-2 one and two now. No runs, just one hit, and no errors on the Mets' line score so far. To two balls and two strikes now. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Back to back. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Kyle Schwarber. The left fielder, Kyle First pitch coming. Here it is. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Oh, has him looking silly here. It's 0 and 2. Real ugly 0 1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing. You have this guy way off balance. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. That was a good job tying him up inside on that strikeout pitch. Now it wasn't even in the strike base. zone, but with the hitter protecting with two strikes, that's oh, yeah. the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. Fouled away. A one count. Here's the pitch. Goodness, 0-2 oh oh now. Hey, after that terrible swing, you find yourself down 0-2. Step out, deep breath, adjust the batting gloves, flip a coin, and go all in on something. Inside, oh, as he might be trying to set him up here, 1-2. and two. Boy, he sped him up in this at-bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at-bat. High in the air out to center field. Ready is in pursuit. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Nico Horner. He singled his last time up. Liner towards second. But this won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got it. Welcome back to the north side of Chicago, back here at Wrigley Field as we check in with Heidi. Matt, during the break, I caught up with the Mets manager to discuss his thoughts on his club's offense so far. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. Off the net. Thank you, Heidi. First pitch Guillermo. on its way. Right. Guillermo Heredia is in to start things oh, yeah. off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Hey, he's rolling oh. so far in this one as we head in to the middle part Four of this one. game. How about 90% of his yeah. first pitches have been for strikes? If he continues to do that, he just might finish this one. The one-two. Hit high and deep to left field. Racing back the left fielder at the track. Off the LED board and gone. Awesome swing right there. You never know when that huge moment's going to come in the game. I know 
there's a little bit left in this one, but certainly they got to feel good about themselves. Hey, anytime you can put some points on the board, we're not sure if this is going to be the difference in the game or not, but certainly when you get a big swing like that, make the fellas in the dugout feel a lot happier about the way this one's going to turn out at the end. Swing and a line drive, and the pitcher's got himself a base hit. Now this will rattle up against the wall. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking, too, right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. Brandon Nimmo is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Okay. Swings through it for strike number two. Count remains at 0-2. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. And he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastball's in there, and that's out number one. Now a man at second with one down, and that'll bring up Robinson Cano. Grounded to the right, and that's through into right field for a base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. The first base so here's Pete Alonzo. Hit hard down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. Yeah, Dan, he's got to feel pretty good about that. Not only did he have a great A-B, first pitch hacking, but he smoked that ball to mix in a ribby knock. Well, he did. He must have had a pretty good plan of attack walking into that batter's box, and he had an idea of the pitch that he was going to get. And, boy, he sure turned it loose and buggy whipped that one. Here's the 0-2. Tried to get him to chase the cutter there, a ball and two strikes. These are the situations right here that make me miss wearing a uniform. The big spot, the cat and mouse of what's he going to throw. I'm down one, two. Can I battle back? The pitcher's trying to put me away. But this is what the game's all about. So it was a swinging strike three. Todd Frazier goes down for out number two in the top half. And it's fouled away. Here's Darvish on 0 and 2. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on four bases. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cubs to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And he told me that they have to find a way to be more patient at the plate. Over 90% of their at-bats have started with a swing on the first pitch. And given their lack of run production, that approach clearly isn't working. He said adjustment number one has to be to allow the at-bats to develop and look for good pitches to hit in deeper counts where they will hopefully have more of an advantage over the pitcher. Thank you, Heidi. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. On the run is Heredia. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Digging in to try it again. David Bodie comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Now a shot out toward the alley in right center. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he'll pull into second with one away. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with the single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they can get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. The 0 1 pitch. On, he takes something oh, off there and had him way out in front for strike two. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, could be something they have to think about. Swing and a miss at the curveball, and there's your second out of the inning. Man at second here with two away, and that'll bring up the former first rounder and Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. Good downward action there, and it's 0 and 1. Got to sit middle-middle when a guy's trying to pitch around you. If he's going to give you first base, take it. Pro 
throws him on the bender there, and he's in the hole 0 and 2. Hey, with first base open, pitcher's definitely going to nibble and try and see if the hitter expands his own. Ani jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. Into the bleachers and gone. Two run shot to straight away center. And with it, the Cubs have battled back to tie things at two. This is a perfect example of the total concentration it takes to be a pitcher at this level. He was on cruise control, hitting his spots, preserving a two-run lead, and then boom, he misses his location, and the game is tied. Back to square one. The first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. Throw in time, and the side is retired. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. All set for the start of the inning. And set to go is the second baseman, Luis Guillorme. Taken, and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. Fly ball out toward left center field. And he will make the catch on the full run. And there's a dandy of an out to start the inning. First pitch coming. Here it is. Ahmed Rosario comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Fouled off. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. And he popped him up. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. 0-1 count and the pitch. Hold strike two with the letters. 0-2 now. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends. Coming to the plate now, you Darvish. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. You Darvish. I couldn't catch up with the gas that time. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. Swing and a liner, but foul. The 0 2 delivery. Line shot to first, and there's one away. Up next to the count. At the plate, Kyle Schwarber. He went down on strikes last time up. First pitch coming. Here it is. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. Oh wow, that changeup is an absolute beaut. They call it the great equalizer for a reason. And he fouls this one off. Another 0-2 oh coming. Might have been looking to find that outside corner, but he couldn't quite get it there. It's one and two. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. To two balls and two strikes now. This is line to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. You think there's any justice in the game? Watch those two at bats. Both of them hit on the absolute screws. One's right at one guy, and then one's a single. Go figure. Oh, yeah. Here's Chris Bryant now. 
Alex. He'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. From the stretch. Fouled away. Working for the punch out and the offering. So that's inside. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Oh, forget about this one. Bob Bob Booey. Into the bleachers and out of here. Chris Bryant plates a pair with a home run. And it gives the Cubs a 4-2 lead. Well, I'm excited to check the home run numbers that come out on show track because that was just one of the most impressive launches we've seen in a good while. And as the numbers come in, that ball was projected to have carried over 460 feet. An amazing show of strength. Justin Wilson, a 6-foot, 2-inch left-hander, jogs in to take over on the hill. This is flared out towards second. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And no chance at a recovery here as despite a great effort that time, they won't get it out on the play. Beggars can't be choosers right there. We love those lawn darts. Doesn't matter how they come. Jam off the end of the bat doesn't matter. No hits to this point. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And that's going to be off the ivy-covered wall. And they're able to get the ball in quickly, so he'll be held to a single with one away. Boy, D-Roll, that looked like extra bases right off the bat. This thing caroms off the wall. Outfielder does a great job of getting it in quickly and probably does. And now, meanwhile, this is going to be extra bases, and that may just get a couple of runners home. And not in time as the run scores. And he'll reach second now with one away. Now the Shays are around for a reason. And that hit right there is a reason they say baseball is a game of inches, right? Just barely fair, but that's not much consolation to the guy standing on the mound. Nice RBI two-bagger. He struggled a bit coming out of the bullpen here, so he needed that strike. Maybe it settles him down a little bit. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. The runner from second crosses the plate. It's a 7-2 ball game. Jerry Spamilia enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. At the plate, Ian Happ, as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. So far, two for three in this one. Swing and there it goes. He got all of that ball. This one's into the bleachers and gone. So it's a two run shot to right center, his second of the game, as this is now a seven run ball game. So the bases are clear now following the home run. And stepping in, the long ball threat, Anthony Rizzo. First pitch on its way. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Now the 1-0. High in the air out to center field. Waiting on it is Aredia. Two down. The pitcher, Two away now for the Cubs in the sixth. You. And the pitcher bats next. That will be you, Darvish. First offering on its way. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Action in the Mets' bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right-hander that start to throw. 
little chopper back to the mound. And it's in time at first, and finally, at long last, this side is retired. Another good inning for the Cubs here, and you don't need me to tell you that these folks don't need much of a reason to have a good time. Jeff McNeil is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. and oh. Line toward right center. And that's going to be a base hit. So a great job off the bench, and he's aboard here to lead off the inning. The left field, number nine. And here's the former first-round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. McNeil rounds the corner and is headed home. He'll score easily. And the gap shortens, but still plenty of work to do. Now that. So Robinson Cano will grab a bat next. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. And it's fouled away. Three runs, seven hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Swing and a ball yanked down the right field line. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. He's in at second safely. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. Never say never in this game, folks. It's late and the clock is ticking, but that RBI double might start making believers out of the entire dugout. We'll see if they can build on it and maybe get back into this thing. He's working on a one for three thus far. Right fielder is on the run, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Here's Todd Frazier now. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Come set and the 0 1 taken, but that catches the inside part of the plate. What a nasty pitch right there. Batter thought it was going to hit him, and it ends up breaking into the zone for a strike. Cano, the runner at second with one away. The bouncer to the left side. Throw in time at first for route number two. And that'll bring up Wilson Ramos. Runner in scoring position with Sudan. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. He's not having his best outing in this one. And I think that curveball is part of the reason why. He couldn't get on top of that one. And that's not the first time that's happened. Fouled off. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And he's got another one here. Twelve punch outs now in the ball game. And Steven Matz gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. First pitch coming. Here it is. One on one. Here it comes on one and one. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone. One and two. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Into the box, Chris Bryant. And he's coming off a two-run homer his last time around. That last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Driving in once again, Nico Horner is looking for hit number three here in this at bat. A bouncer to the left side. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Luis Guillorme. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. 
lifted the other way out to left center. Half is right there, one down. Riding in, Ahmed Rosario. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Hit on the ground out to short. On to first, and he's breezing through the eighth here with two quick outs. That will bring in Guillermo Heredia now. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. Line softly to the right side. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Two and one. Breaks as bad as this one's popped up. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. The 2-2 is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Down in order go the Mets. They and that brings up Javi Baez. And he'll start out the bottom of the eighth inning. Here's the first pitch to him. Here's a blooper out toward left center. In there, a base hit. Hey, guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second knock at the game. game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking we really avoided a worse fate. And this one's in the dirt. Baez gets his lead at first, nobody out. On the ground is short. This could be two to second for one. On to first to complete the double play. Next to hit will be Wilson Contreras. He's two for three thus far. Pitch on the way. Here's the 0-1. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. And bye-bye. That one's gone into the bleachers. Hey, in today's game of extreme velocity, if you have mediocre stuff, you cannot miss over the heart of the plate. You have to nibble at the corners. He wasn't able to do that, and he paid the ultimate price. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Heredia is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Cubs. Dominic Smith is going to pinch hit here to lead off the ninth, and with his club already well down, he'll just need to try and get on base here. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Digging in once again, Brandon Nimmo. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Bases are empty, one man out. One and one to the Mets leadoff hitter. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. Corner back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Up next to the hat. Robinson Cano the next to dig in. He's doubled and singled in four at-bats in this contest. No balls and a strike to count. Now a swing and he pops him up. And this should do it. And that'll get down for a base hit. And they'll throw behind the runner to first. And he is in the second with a double. His third hit of the night. As we take a look at his numbers, a couple of things jump out at you. And here's the thing from a pitcher's perspective. You look at this line and you think, wow, he's been sitting guys down all game long, and that's true. But on the flip side, his pitch count is up there. You have to wonder if he might be starting to get a little bit tired in this one. Yeah, and in today's game, everyone seems to want and a swing and a miss as they definitely had him reaching for that one, and this ball game is over. Well, I got to be honest, I didn't think he had nine innings in him. But he battled, and he finished the game, and he picked up the win along the way, too. Ten to four, the final in this game. The Cubs get the win despite three errors in the field. Hugh Darvish is the winning pitcher of record. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network.
Here now is the final line score tonight. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Ten runs on 14 hits. Three errors. They also left three men on base. For the Mets, four runs on nine hits. No errors. They left eight men on base. 